This ox cart was beset by assailants it could not shake. And this is the result. Follow me, if you would. Another dogged adventurer come to take my life. Many have tried, and as you can plainly see, all have failed. I would abandon any such fool ideas if I were you. After all, that which is won by brute force is apt to be lost to the same. Perhaps I might interest you in a game of wits instead. I set before you a simple task. Solve my riddles to satisfaction. Should your answers please me, I will bestow upon you the contents of yon chests. I trust I have your attention? If so, take your place and we shall begin. Your resolve is commendable. The fool beholds a sage in the mirror. The sage a fool. Which is it you see, I wonder? Our eyes are our allies. Yet oft do they betray, for eyes tell lies. So I advise, and thence do need astray. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door, and retrieve that which is of greatest value. This is no ordinary vessel. I wonder what tis intended to hold. It could prove quite useful. We ought to investigate it, find out what it can do. Come to test your wits. Yet, how will your eyes advise you? Venture through yonder door and retrieve that which is of greatest value. So, this is your choice? The greatest worth your eyes describe? Indeed, this is what I sought. Your eyes see true. No greater worth can there be than that found in simplicity. As promised, I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest and take this file too. Its purpose I shan't divulge. How you use it is up to you. Outstanding. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. 
They are bound fast as night is today. So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. Together, we will rebuild. This place, Shabak. Come to test your wits. Love is as twin to madness, they say. They are bound fast as night is to... So bring forth your most beloved to me, that I might gauge the depth of your insanity. Is this your most beloved you bring before me? Well, well. Very good. Not half bad. Yet only one you bring. I thought you capable of more. A promise made, a promise kept. And so I shall open for you a chest. Come to test your wits. The parent knows the child, yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent, such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. No sense ruining the cost. Such purchases are a given on an adventure as important as ours. It's a pleasure to meet you. <laughs> Come to test your wits. The parent knows the child. Yet the reverse is far from true. The child knows not the parent. Such is the parent's due. I am a lost child, for kinship do I yearn. So bring to me my parent, that I might better learn. And you claim this to be the parent I seek. Indeed, you are correct. All is in the name. You have proven your wits, and so I shall bestow upon you a prize. Collect it from yon chest at your leisure. That was certainly worthwhile.
Come to test your wits. Life is an enigma, a lender of mortal debt. Yet lighter pack makes fleet of foot and challenge nimbly met. So grant to me what you most prize and thence elude your ponderous demise. So, this is your prized possession. A most revealing choice. Do you consent to give it to me, knowing that it may never be returned? Well, well. Very good. That's the spirit. Such generosity deserves a reward, methinks. Why don't you take a peek in your own chest? Come to test your wits. Is ever the first we keep fond in our breast, and ever the first that eclipses the rest. You know of the seeker's tokens, I trust. Those keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps if you can. You might make a new discovery. Seven days, shall we say, ere you return? May your journey be a pleasant one. We have reached our destination. Mayhap we can employ a cart for our next journey. I just had a... One can see far to the distance from here. It would be a good place to take stock of our surroundings. You have my support. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to even discover it. Come to test your wits. Seeker's tokens are treasures indeed. Keepsakes of a fondly remembered journey. Yet where was it that you found your first? Retrace your steps, if you can. Ah, I see I needn't have worried. Well sought and well found. I trust it was a pleasant jaunt. As promised, you shall have your prize. Look for it in yon chest. Five riddles have I posed, and five answers have you given. Perhaps you expected more, but I'm afraid that's that. Our next game shall have to take a different tack. Though constant this world may seem, in truth, all is in flux. And so, the time has come for me to fly. 
If you are not yet satisfied, seek me at my new abode. But for now, I bid you farewell, dogged adventurer. Outstanding! <laughs> Well, so dearly did you love our game that you have sought me out again. Let us resume at once. I too have grown rather engrossed. That was certainly worthwhile. Though ours is a battle of wits, tests of metal are more come. Try your arm, though he shall be your opponent, not I. However, I am not one to be amused by a simple duel. Bear this ring into battle, that I might gauge your true strength. Let my magics grant you an elemental boon. Good show. It seems your mind is as strong as your arm. You have more than earned your reward. Another chest is yours to claim. Now, questions beget questions, and I have one for you. How many of my memory fails me, you see? Remind me, and make it plain. Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me.
Let yonder statues be your means. For every question aptly answered, bring one here before me. This is your answer. Are you sure of your count? My, that's quite a number. And the correct one, no less. I see you're keeping track. Of course, your erudition shan't go unrewarded. Outstanding. So vast is this world, and full of life. Indeed. In the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. But are these differences so great? If you believe so, this next task should prove exceedingly simple. I seek this man. If men are so distinct, I'm sure you'll find him in a trice. an inkling of what to do. Everyone's as tired as I am. Time to be heavy. I'm in no hurry to leave. Surely I'm not expecting to fare so well every day. I have a spirit of a woman half my age. I'll take any chance not to think about my You seek to enter Bata- Go on through. So vast is this world, and full of life. You are but one of many, indeed. In the grand scheme, we are as distinct from one another as pebbles on a beach. But are these differences so great? If you believe so, this next task should prove exceedingly simple. Is this the man I sought? Truly? You are satisfied with your answer? Then I shall weigh its merit. To pluck a human from the faceless swarm is no less a challenge than to seek a single grain of sand on the Alta Batal coast. Yet pluck you have, and for that I congratulate you. Another prize is yours for the taking. That was certainly worthwhile. How 
easily the mind unravels. Some say it's pain that does it best, others darkness. Rather, I say a mind cannot be more soundly broken than when it beholds its earnest efforts laid low in a single stroke. Could you survive such despair? We shall see. Here, I have an amphora destined for Sir Moritz in Batal. Deliver it to him, but beware, it's rather fragile. I do hope your struggle will amuse. But are we safe here? You there. You seem like a learned individual. Surely you have an interest in the mighty Sphinx depicted on yonder wall? Tis a beast of fearsome intellect whose riddles have confounded some of the greatest sages in history. Indeed, it is said that answering its questions is but a portion of the puzzle. Should the day come that you seek to challenge the Sphinx yourself, you would do well to look to this mural for wisdom. What in the world were you thinking, bringing me to such a place? Hold a moment. That vase. It cannot be. For generations now, my family has been charged with a duty to seek out this amphora. To think that it was hidden here, of all places. Is that why you brought me here? So that I might claim it? Oh, joyous day! At long last, our vigil is at an end. Well, well. Very good. Well, well. The amphora has been delivered intact. I'd not thought you had it in you. Though I'd hoped to savor your dismay, you shall have your prize all the same. And with that, our game comes to an end. As amusing as it has been. I shall now take my leave of you to await the next courageous soul who would test their wits against mine. That was certainly worthwhile. Well, you are a persistent one. Did my prizes fail to satisfy? Truly, your greed is boundless. But soon you will learn. Those who live by their greed tend to die by it. Though, it is a pity. I had taken rather a liking to you. It will bring me no pleasure to spill your blood. But nor can I ignore so bold a challenge. I have been waiting for you.
Standing. A laudable result. Just what I would expect of the Arisen. It is vital that we rest and regain our strength before moving on. This is my first time clapping eyes on such an item. I expect my own master has yet to discover it. Our destination is rather distant. Perhaps we ought to consider employing the services of an Oxcart. A most agreeable suggestion. Of course, the Arisen shall have the final say in the matter. Welcome, sir. Contrary to the name, if you think me a liar, then buy something and say, Ah, I see you desire one of my masterpieces. Very well. I shall have your order crafted in good time. A little patience is all. Many thanks to you. Welcome, sir. If you think me a liar, then buy something. The item you requested is complete. Here you are, sir. You... Use it well. Many thanks to you. to do and pray. <laughs>